Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for English language arts. And we are still working on unit five, which is traveling to lands far, far away, reading fairy tales. And last week and this week, we're working on fables. If you guys remember correctly, last week we did the boy who cried wolf. Well, this week we're doing two fables. And today we're starting with one of my son's favorites, which is called the tortoise and the hare. We are going to be covering standards RL 1.1 and 2.5. And our objectives basically are that we can preview a book, we can identify character and setting, and we can identify the moral. That's what we're going to be doing today. So uh, let's start by previewing the book. Are you ready, Lakar? Ready, Rafiki? We take our book, we take a look at the front cover. Ooh, what do we see on the front cover, Lakar? What do we see? A uh, tortoise. There's a tortoise. So we know that there's probably a tortoise in the story somewhere, right? A hair. Ooh, it's a cute little hair. Definitely got to be a hair in there somewhere. Hmm. All right, we can open the book. And let's take a look. We can look at the words. Up oh, there we are. We see the tortoise and the hare again. They seem to be talking about something. Ooh, he's jumping. Laughing. He's laughing. I wonder what he's laughing about. Oh, look, there's some other animals. Maybe his friends or not. I wonder what that line is. Hmm. This is definitely a book that I would want to read, huh? Because I want to see what that's all about. What do you think, Rafiki? <laughs> awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and read the book then. Looks mighty interesting. Oh, look, some kind of rope. Yes, I definitely, definitely want to read this book. So here we go. The tortoise and the hare. Now remember guys, we are going to be trying to identify the character and the setting. So while I'm reading it to you, think about who the story is about. And also think about where the story is taking place. Right, Lakar? Yep. All right. The tortoise and the hare. Once upon a time, there was a hare who boasted that he could run faster than anybody. He was always teasing the tortoise because she was too slow. One sunny summer day, the tortoise was walking slowly along the forest, enjoying the beautiful scenery. Suddenly, the hare crossed her path and making fun of her said, What's the big rush? Upset by his command, the tortoise said, why do you make fun of me? No one doubts you are a fast runner, but the faster runner is not always the one who wins the race. Hmm. Upon hearing this, the hare started laughing. Who's going to beat me? You? That's really <laughs> silly. There is no one who can beat me. I'm the fastest runner in the world. I challenge you to a race. Wow, a challenging. The tortoise. Annoyed at the hare bragging, accepted the challenge. Plans for the race were soon underway and the race was set to take place at dawn the very next day. Ooh, so it seems our story is about tortoise and hare. Those are our characters, the who. Let's keep going. The morning of the race, all the forest animals gathered at the starting line. Everyone thought that the hare would win, but secretly they were rooting for the tortoise. He's very wise. Mm. At the agreed time, the duck with a loud, wah, wah, gave the signal to start the race. The hare began leaping and running very fast, while the tortoise plodded along. Very slowly. <laughs> The hare was confident he was way ahead of the slow-moving tortoise, but since he was still a little tired from getting up so early for the race, he decided it would be a good time to take a rest. He turned back to the tortoise and teasingly said, Take your time. I'm going to the rest for a while, and if you pass me, I'll catch up with you in a minute. Ooh, I wonder what happens next. What do you think? Let's take a look. When the hare woke up, he realized that he still had a good lead over the tortoise, who had barely covered a short distance. 
Since the hare did not have breakfast that morning, he decided to stop and munch on some lettuce sprouts he saw growing on the other side of the road. The hare felt sleepy Ooh, after having too much to eat under the hot sun. After checking that he still had a lead over the tortoise, he decided to take a nap under the shadow of an oak tree. In the meantime, the tortoise continued to advance slowly but surely. Tired but determined, she lifted her long neck and was happy to see that she was very close to the finish line. It was precisely at that moment, upon hearing the cheers from the crowd, that Hare woke up with a startle. <gasps> when he realized that the tortoise was very close to the finish line, he got up with a jolt and started jumping and running. Everyone was screaming, dancing, clapping for the tortoise. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Realizing that the hare was very close behind, the tortoise gave one last push, stretched her long neck as far as she could, and touched the finish line first. The tortoise had won the race. The hare was exhausted, collapsed beside the happy tortoise. Even though the hare didn't win, he learned a good lesson. The faster runner is not always the one who wins the race. Ooh, now usually on the back of the fable, they have the moral. The moral, guys, remember, is the, what you learned from the story. So let's see what they say. What lesson have we learned from this fable, Lakar? If you preserve and try your best, you can succeed. Good, almost right. It's if you persevere. <laughs> that means if you keep going and you keep trying. Well, I keep trying can... to read that word. You can say it. Do it again. Persevere. Good job, buddy. You just learned a new word today too, huh? It's a big one. If you persevere, if you keep trying, you persevere, you try your best, you can succeed. That's our moral for today. Like preserve. <laughs> That's cute. I liked it. All right. Let's see who the characters were. Look, can you hold the book up for me so they can see? That's our book. Can you show me who the characters are? Is it the tortoise and the hare or Clifford the big red dog? Come up to the screen and touch the right one. Good job. It is Tortoise and the Hare. Those are our characters. That's who our story was all about. Now we're going to do setting. Remember, setting is where it took place. Do you want to find a little place where there's a setting? Oh, there we go. Awesome. Okay. So, where is the setting of the story? Where did it take place? Was it the beach? Or was it in the forest with a nice path heading towards a, the rope? Come up to the screen and pick the right one. Good job, friends. The story is in the field. And they were going down the path to cross the road. That's where the story was taking place. Good job. So we did the setting, we did the character, we previewed the book, and we took a listen to the moral. That was an awesome story, right? Yeah. Totally cool. So um, I'll see you guys um, a little later. Bye. Bye.